What's up my YouTube family, Sergeant Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 video. Today is Monday, October 11th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. So as I do every Monday, today I'd like to take some time and go over some of the feedback that you've sent the channel. As most of you know by now, we had quite the week last week with the sticky bomb glitch. There were also a lot of reports of PC crashing as well, so I wanted to take some time and go over some of the things we know. Now, if you happen to be new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. Finally, my friends, I'm happy to announce we are once again having another system giveaway. This is for a PlayStation 5. We actually gave away an Xbox Series S last week. This is the new giveaway, and as always, all you need to do to enter is either subscribe here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. We will be announcing the winner on December 31st of this year, a great way to end the year in my opinion. And once again, a reminder, you do not need to join as a member to enter for the PS5 giveaway. We do have monthly prizes for membership, however, for the system. Like I said a moment ago, all you need to do is subscribe here or follow us on Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. So as I start off today, I'd like to take a moment and thank all of you for being so supportive in this community. I, you know, I put out a message last Friday congratulating the winner and I tagged her in a tweet and all of you sent these amazing messages and for me that really, really means a lot. With all that being said, let's get to what's going on in the game right now. Now, a moment ago, you could see the Kestrel League is still going on. There's another week of that. And once again, a reminder for new and returning players, if you have not completed something, don't worry. All of the projects will reset, but your progression will transfer from week one to week two. One thing we can look forward to this week is the fact that we are getting our next global event, which is Shade Exposed. Now, to be totally honest with you, I don't remember all of the details about this event. I know it's not my favorite one. However, during these events, as you've heard me say time and time again, it is a great opportunity to earn some really good gear in the game. Which leads me to a comment which a lot of people were making this week saying no matter how many named caches and legacy caches they opened, they didn't get any Dark Zone exclusive items. They were worried that wasn't the case. Could you actually get them in the caches? And the answer is yes. However, it's all RNG, so it's pure luck sometimes. And because of that question, I wanted to put my opening up some of these named and legacy caches on this morning's video to show you that yes, you can get those DZ exclusives. You'll see here in a moment, I was finally able to get the ferocious calm and for me this is something I've been looking for for probably six months now and when I say looking for I'm talking about you know on days where Fenris was the targeted loot in the ZZ just farming non-stop you know opening up countless named caches legacy caches never seeing it and finally getting it now so again my friends while it is a grind it is definitely worth it and during these global events it does give you that opportunity moving on I'd like to address something that a lot of you have been asking over the last few weeks and that has to do with the countdown timer in regards to when the season ends and if you know do you think that means or people People are asking me, excuse me, do you think that means that's when we're going to be receiving new content on the game? And the game has made it very clear that timer is just a timer. It doesn't mean anything specific. So again, we cannot read too much into it. Now, we know that if we go back towards the beginning of this year, the game said that Heartland should come out before this year ends and that we could expect some new content for The Division 2 at the beginning of next year. And this timer does kind of coincide with the new Division 2 content. However, as most of you know by now, I don't like to really talk about what ifs or speculation too often as I don't want to pass along any misinformation. But with that being said, you know, I, I'm under the opinion that we will be getting Heartland before the end of the year and hopefully this timer does indicate that we should get that new content by that time. Next, my friends, I'd like to talk about the sticky bomb glitch that was going on in the game last week. And unfortunately, once again, you know, that made playing in the dark zone completely impossible for so many people out there. Now, the good news is that, it, you know, I think it really came to the forefront last Monday and by Thursday, thankfully, it was patched. However, with that being said, I am still getting reports of the invisibility glitch that is still happening in the dark zone in just new areas. So again, my friends, thankfully, the sticky bomb thing has been fixed. There's still that invisible thing. So, you know, I mean, when you go into the DZ, you go in at your own risk. Again, that's another reason I like the global events. It gives you that chance to get certain things, you know, without having to go into the DZ. And I know for a lot of people, they really like that. 
Last but certainly not least, I'd like to talk about PC crashes, as that is the number one thing I've been getting at my channel over the last week from so many people who play on PC, and they say that no matter what they do, when they play, what mode they're doing, whatever it is, the game seems to crash over and over again. And by crashing, I'm talking about completely getting kicked off the game, getting sent back to their computer's home screen. You know, no Delta error, no Bravo error, nothing like that. It's just it's just completely bricking for a lot of players. Now, I play on consoles, so I really don't deal with that. But if this is happening to you on PC, please let me know in the comment section down below. Most of you know by now that one of my main goals here is to try to help out in any way I can. And the thing is, honestly, I know nothing about PC gaming. So if you have any information that can help other gamers, again, leave it in the comment section because any way we can pass along any information that can help others, I definitely want to do so. I mean, for me, the only issue I was having recently was an audio bug where all I could hear was my weapon firing. There was no NPC chatter. There was nothing from Isaac. Now, usually logging out and then logging back in fixed it that wasn't the case for me it happened for like four or five days and all of a sudden it started working so again i i couldn't pinpoint it but again it seems to be working fine now with all that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this video up. As always, I want to thank you all for your continued support, especially during this time where there's nothing new to report on in the game. I love doing these weekly updates, talking about what's going on in the community. And as always, if there's anything that's happening in your game and I didn't mention it in the video, let me know what's going on in the comment section down below. At this point, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. However, as I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor, hit that like button. It really does help out. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. There should be a terminal that'll let you reactivate the node. Authorization granted. Please stand by. Intelligent system analytic computer reactivated. All Isaac subsystems operational. That was the last step to getting Isaac fully restored locally. But we have a ways to go before we can celebrate. And a missing agent to locate. Continue your sweep of the complex. Hostile radio intercepted. Hello? Is this the division? Looking for someone? Who is this? How are you on this channel? Friend of yours gave me a real nice wristwatch. He's right here. You wanna talk to him? If you want him back, you can make a deal. You back off. Deliver him unharmed. Mostly. They'll keep him alive. They aren't stupid. Find that hyena piece of shit.